Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. And this time I'm going to do two books in this review because it's a two book series. It's called Made of Mayhem. The first book is going to be this one, The Malevolent King. And the next one is going to be The Runaway Queen. Now let's go back to the other book. So this first book is called Malevolent King. And you meet this character in his brother's book. And his brother's book was Wicked Air. I will say you don't have to read his brother's book. It is another part of a two-part series called Vicious Vengeance. I'll link the playlist for them below. Um, but it just gives you a little bit more information. So this is Nikolai. I call him Nico. I always change the names or shorten them to the characters in the book. Don't ask me why. And he's been gone for like four years, I believe. He was in the Russian jail or whatever. And he comes back and he finds out that the girl that he is crazy obsessed about is supposed to be marrying his brother. That don't go over well with Nico. So, <clears throat> little background on Nico. Everyone thinks this man is crazy as all get out. Like, they're like, yo, don't mess with him. You're going to regret it. He's crazy. Well, I will say this. Yeah, he's crazy, but he's not as crazy as everyone thinks he is. Now, come to the main female character. Her name is Sophia. Sophie, whatever you want to call her. And she's a Italian mob princess, as you call her. Nico's part of the Russian mob. I call the the, Brat, the Bratta. I'm not sure how to say that. Sorry if I butchered it. But their fathers want Sophia to marry Nico's brother Krill so the Russian mom and the Italian mom could kind of you know stand strong or whatever and Nico is not happy about it and as you see in Krill's book he's like no I'm not happy about that either well come to find out Nico's been obsessed with her since she was in high school like he saw her and he was like ding ding chicken word that that's my that's my woman that's my lady now the interesting thing about this book is it jumps, it jumps from the past to the present. So in the past, when she was like 17, she met Nico. And I think he was like 23. So he's like <clears throat> good ways older than her. Like six years older than her. Which in hindsight isn't bad. But when you're 17, that's a lot. But she's drawn to Nico just like he's drawn to her. And Nico is like following her. So obsessed that he throws a prom party so she'll show up and he can get to her. I'm like, oh, Lord. You a stalker, sir. Well, things don't, you know, pan out. I'm not going to say anything else. Now, I will say about Sophia. Sophia, dad, is a jerk, too. And he rules her life down to what she can eat what she can wear, and who she's friends with. Well, she has this one friend. I love her. I cannot say her name right. I call her Chi Chi Char Char. <clears throat> and her friend is wild. She's like, I don't care if we're in this mafia life. I'm going to do what I want to do. Well, her friend is in love with <clears throat> the, a bodyguard that's supposed to be watching Sophia. To the point, like, she's tempting him, looking at him, having other guys hugged up on her. And he's about to bust a blood vessel. And I'm like, okay, I need to know these two stories, their story. Well, <clears throat> so you got all that jump, jumping back and forth to get a little backstory of them. Well, Nico comes, like I said, he comes home from jail. He's like, no, she, you're not marrying her. We're going to figure this out. So they all come up with a plan. Nico and his brother girl come up with a plan to kind of get rid of their father because they're like, there's no way that we can handle this. Well, there's a big thing, and Nico ends up getting handed over to Sophia's father, so Krill can be the head of it. And it was kind of like a chess move. Like, who's going to do what? How's it going to top off? Because neither one of them wanted the other one to rule the, the crime family. Well, Nico got handed over to her daddy, and let's just say he got put somewhere. And then a big battle suits. And I'm not going to say any more to that. So if you want to read this book, I would give this book a four out of five. 
I love the hero. I love the heroine. I love the backstory. I love that he's cr- crazy. I love that even though she's a princess, you know, she's got a little edge to her. And I'm going to say, if you don't want spoilers, stop now, right now, because I'm going to go into the next book. I'm going to give you a little pause so you can stop this and decide if you want to watch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on to book two of Runaway Queen. I mean, of Made of Mayhem. If you're like me, you're going to listen. I don't care about spoilers. I'll read the back of the book and still read the whole book. I don't care. So let's get into it. What I didn't say beforehand is at the end of Malevolent King, Nico believes this woman is dead. He loses his mind. Like legit loses his mind. Well, come to find out, She's not dead. She ended up pregnant, getting pregnant by Nico. And the father was like, absolutely not. Get rid of it. She's like, no, I'm not going to get rid of my son, my my child. I'm not doing it. It ends up being a boy. And um, the father's like, if you keep this, then you're, you're dead to me. I will not help you financially. Nothing. You're on your own. Which is jacked up, sir, because you kept her in a little place for her whole life. So she agrees. Well, the thing is, her brother is finally back. And he's like, I can't do anything. He's still in power. Here's my phone. Call me if you absolutely need. But I can't help help you. Like, I'm not going to be able to. Things are a mess. Well, come to find out. It's, I believe, four years later. And Nico's getting out of jail. And he decides, you know what, he he made friends with a, na- a guy named Brand, I think it is. And Brand is in the Irish Mafia. So I'm sure he's going to get his own book. Anyway, so Brand and him are, you know, cool and jail. People call him the, ex- the poop. I, I'm sorry. They just, the the interpretation of it is the executioner. So... People, you know, respect Nico in jail. They don't want to mess with them. And that that's all I'm going to say to that. Well, he gets out of jail. And he hooks up with his boy. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to kill everybody that killed her. Like, I, I have work to do. And he systematically finds him. Well, come to find out, he finds out she's not dead. And digs up her grave. Now... He finds her in a small town in Maine. She's an art teacher, has a little boy, and her best friend and her bodyguard are there together, and they're married. And I'm so happy for them. They left their whole lives behind because they wanted to be together. And they help her with her son. And she's got her pride. She's not taking any handouts. She's doing what she's got to do. And Nico decides... He's going to torture her. He's going to play mind games with her. You made me think that I, you were dead and it snapped my, my mental state, which was not the best to begin with. If you hear something hitting in the background, my dog is looking out the door like she actually wants to go outside. And <clears throat> so he's playing the ultimate cat and mouse games with her. And I'm like, sir... You got issues. But she loves herself some Nico, and he loves her. I'm going to leave it at that. I will say these two books put together are fabulous. They got twisted turns. And what I noticed with this author, because I have read some of her other books, is that you will meet characters that will end up having their own books. So I'm pretty sure that... The boys in the high schools, I do know they have their books because I've already read them. So if you're looking for a series to read by her, by her, she's got a hockey series called out called The Hellions of Hyde Harbor. And it's about the hockey boys, the ice hockey players that you meet in this book, sort of. And then you'll, you're supposed to be getting the Irish Mafia 
guy. I think his name is Brand. I cannot remember. He's supposed to be getting a book also. But these two books together are fabulous. I am going to read her brother's book, which is Unholy Vows. And I've wasted enough of your time. Like I said, guys, give these two books a, tr- a try. They are fabulous. And like I said, this is a two book series, so it doesn't take that long. There also is The Vicious Vengeance, which is the, the brother Krill's book. And then Savage Stone, which is his two book series. And then The Hellions of Hyde Harbor. And I think there's also going to be another series that's a spinoff of the brother but anyway so again i'm done babbling i can't say enough good things about this book and i'm gonna get out of here so i hope everyone's having a good morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching this leave a like button subscribe share comment below if you've read any of her series what you think of them because i don't know many people in my surrounding area surrounding area that has read them so i'm curious all right guys i'm finally done talking bye